Hey what is up guys, welcome back to another Minecraft Java video. Today I'm going to show you guys how to download and install Minecraft Java Edition 1.18. This is the experimental snapshot 4. It came out a few days ago, not too long ago. I brought you guys a video which I showed you how to download and install Minecraft 1.18 Experimental Snapshot 3 and the Experimental Snapshot 4 has just come out recently so I'm going to show you guys today how to get and then how to download and install and then play Minecraft 1.18 Experimental Snapshot 4 and how to set everything up so you can test it out as you guys can see in the title bar the top left of my screen there it does say Minecraft 1.18 experimental snapshot for single player if i press the f3 debug console on the top left as well it says minecraft 1.18 experimental snapshot 4 and this is the latest snapshot release which we can actually download for free from the official minecraft website and test out what features the version 1.18 of minecraft has to offer in my opinion if you guys haven't tried out this version you should definitely check it out it's really cool so I would highly recommend that you do download the Minecraft 1.18 Experimental Snapshot 4 release of the game. As you guys can see, I am in the game now. It is snowing and there are a few updates which they have put into the Experimental Snapshot 4 release of the game. And we're going to check out how to actually download and install the Minecraft 1.18 Experimental Snapshot 4 into our Minecraft official launcher. And then we will be able to actually launch the game with the 1.18 experimental snapshot 4 as I am playing at the moment as you guys can see right now. Another cool thing to note is that we can actually go ahead and use resource texture packs with the Minecraft 1.18 experimental snapshot 4 release and with all of the experimental snapshots we can actually go ahead and use the resource texture packs. At the moment I am using the faithful resource packs. So let me just quickly show you guys. I'll go to options, click on resource packs and as you guys can see I am using the faithful HD X512 resource pack for Minecraft Java Edition. The current latest update of Minecraft is actually 1.17.1 so it is quite interesting to be able to try out Minecraft Java Edition 1.18 which will be the next update in the Caves and Cliffs release. Alright so I'm going to show you guys how to go to the official Minecraft website and I'll leave a link in the description so you guys don't have to go around looking for this and all you have to do is just click on the link in the description it will open up the official Minecraft website and you'll just have to scroll down download a file and then I'll show you guys how to download and install that file into our official Minecraft launcher and then this will allow us to actually play the Minecraft 1.18 experimental snapshot 4 release which came out a few days ago and this is the latest update of the snapshot versions all right so the first thing we're going to do now is to actually go to that link and just click on that link in the description and you should open up a website which looks something like this this is the official minecraft.net website and if you just scroll down you will be able to read up about this so as you guys can see it now says the minecraft version 1.18 snapshot 4 is now shipped and it's out now so we can actually go ahead and test it out it does have a cool section here which actually says the changes in experimental snapshot 4 compared to snapshot 3 so for those of you who downloaded the minecraft 1.18 experimental snapshot 3 release you will be able to see what has changed since then in the experimental snapshot 4 release that just came out recently so as you guys can see we do have a few different updates here we've got a few of the tweaks that has taken place one of the cool things i did notice it does say over here more iron it says you'll still mostly have to go caving or mountain climbing to find it but you'll find more iron when you do which is really cool so i am looking forward to seeing that as well and you can go ahead and read up all of these different things that have changed since the experimental snapshot 3 came out and this is all the changes that have taken place in the experimental snapshot 4 version you can obviously just scroll down and just read up about this from the very bottom and then see all the changes that have taken place in the experimental snapshots 1 2 and 3 and then finally in the 4 release as well and the section we need to go to now is this one here which says how do i get the experimental snapshot and if you notice over here it will say download the zip file so i'm going to click on this link here it should start a download of the 1.18 experimental snapshot 4 zip file and what i'll do now guys i'll place this zip file on my desktop and then i'll show you how to install the minecraft 1.18 experimental snapshot 4. 
All right, so as you guys can see, I have placed the 1.18 experimental snapshot for Zipbot on my desktop. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to open up this file. And as you guys can see, it does open up in WinRAR, which I have actually installed. And you just basically need a zip opening application. And I would recommend just download the WinRAR free application, and then you should be able to open this. And inside the zip file, you will see it does have a folder that says 1.18 18 experimental snapshot four and what we now need to do is open up the minecraft launcher and just wait for that to load up and now if we just click on installations on the top over here this will be the installation section and now if i just hover over any of the installations that i've currently got if you guys don't have any other installations it's guaranteed that it will say latest release so just hover over that and you should see a folder icon over here. So just click on that folder icon and this should open up your default Minecraft directory. Now close down the launcher because we will be needing to restart the launcher after doing this installation. So just make sure the launcher is now closed after it's opened up this folder. And now if you look for a folder that says versions, you should have a folder over here that says versions. So just go inside that folder and we'll see we've got different version folders in this one over here. We've got the 1.17.1 and a few of the other versions as well. As you guys can see, I do have the 1.18 experimental snapshot three folder in here. So what I'm gonna do now, guys, I'm gonna place the 1.18 experimental snapshot four folder inside the versions folder. So I'm just gonna drag that folder into there. And as you guys can see, I've now got a folder in the versions folder which says, 1.18 experimental snapshot 4. So do make sure that in your version folder it does say 1.18 experimental snapshot 4. I can now close down this folder and the WinRAR window and I'm going to go back into my Minecraft launcher. If you did have the Minecraft launcher open while you did this, do make sure that you close it down and relaunch the Minecraft launcher. And now if we go into the installation section, I'm going to click on new installation. And in this section here, if we go to where it says version, I'm going to click this drop down. And in here, you basically have to look for where it says pending. And it should say 1.18 experimental snapshot 4. So basically, just look for where it says pending 1.18 experimental snapshot 4. On my one, it's over here. For some of you, it might be somewhere else on this list. But for me, it's located over here. So I'm going to select the pending 1.18 experimental snapshot 4 over here. I'm going to give the installation name. So I'm going to call it 1.18 snapshot 4. And I'm going to leave everything else as it is. I'm going to select the default game directory resolution. Let's just select anything over here. It doesn't really matter. And I'm going to leave all of these other things as they are. I'm going to click on create. And it's going to create a installation. And as you guys can see, it now says 1.18 snapshot 4. And underneath that, it does say 1.18 experimental snapshot 4. And now we can just click on play. And you should get a message that you are about to play a installation that has been modified. I'm going to click on I understand the risks. Don't warn me about this again. And then you're going to click on play and it should start downloading some data and then it will launch the game. All right. So as you guys can see, it has loaded up a window over here. And on the top left, you can see it does say Minecraft 1.18 experimental snapshot 4. Let's maximize this. And at the bottom left, it will say Minecraft 1.18 experimental snapshot 4 slash pending. So we do know we do have the latest 1.18 experimental snapshot 4 release of the game. I can now go into options and I can actually select a resource pack that I showed you guys earlier. So as you guys can see, I already have this selected because I did actually enable this earlier. But for you guys, if you don't have any of the resource packs downloaded, you can go ahead to curseforge.com or any other website and download a resource pack and just apply that if you wanted to do that. And now I can actually go into single player and try the game out. As you guys can see, all these other worlds were created for the old current release, which is 1.17.1. So we can't actually click into that to play it. If you did try to go into that world, it will say created by an incompatible version. I do have the world which I created earlier for Experimental Snapshot 4, which I can actually go into. Interestingly, I do have another world which I actually created for Experimental Snapshot 3, which I can actually click on and go into. But I'm not going to do that. I'm going to create a new world now and I'm going to enable cheats and I'm just going to call this world 1.18 Snapshot 4. And I'm going to go and create this new world so we can actually go into it. You will see this message that says worlds using experimental settings are not supported. And we're going to click on proceed. Uh, so just wait for that to actually load up the game. 
and then we can actually start playing the Minecraft 1.18 experimental snapshot for. So let's wait for that to load up. All right, so as you guys can see, it has loaded me back into the game. On the top left there, it does say Minecraft 1.18 experimental snapshot 4. Everything does look nice because I am running the Faithful resource pack and it makes everything look so much nicer. So we can actually go ahead and start playing this and get to experience what the version 1.18 of Minecraft would look like if we were to play a single player game in that if I press the F3 debug console in the top left there it does say Minecraft 1.18 experimental snapshot 4 and we can see that is it is running basically so you can actually go ahead and go to that website which I showed you guys earlier read up all the changes that have taken place from snapshot release 3 and what has happened in snapshot release 4 and basically you should be able to now download and install Minecraft version 1.18 experimental snapshot 4 and start playing and you should be able to create a survival world and play that just bear in mind that the shaders and other kind of mods and mod loaders won't actually work in this because they haven't actually been made for this release of the game but you can actually go ahead and experience the resource texture packs as well so hopefully you guys did enjoy this video if you did please do give us a like if you did have any questions or queries about installing the minecraft java edition 1.18 experimental snapshot for release of the game do leave them in the comment section below if you guys have any problems or any other technical queries do leave them in the comment section below and also please do subscribe to this channel to help support to help it grow and i'll see you guys next time thank you for watching